Welcome everyone to another ProjectWise video. Today we're talking about issue resolution service and form service, uh, specifically about the dashboards. So this is a relatively new development with inside ProjectWise 365. We now have the ability to, to view all of our filled out form data in these, uh, these custom dashboards. So every user has the ability to create and edit their own personal dashboard. But what I often get asked about is how we create a dashboard for the whole project. So if you go in and click on the unlock icon in the top right, then click on the plus or add icon next to it, you get to ask, you get asked to create a new dashboard name. So my dashboard is a is design review issues. It's pulling in issues from PDF markup and also from iTwin design review. So those are feeding in here and we want a dashboard to give to everybody on the project just to see how many issues there are, who they're assigned to and what the current status of those is. So I'm now editing my, my dashboard. I've got a radial chart which shows who uh, issues are assigned to. So I'm going to rename that so we can just double click on the, the name and, and type in some new text. Um, and on the right hand side, we've got these quick stats, which are quite useful. So I'm going to leave those there. And then down the bottom, we've got filled out forms. And again, I'm going to leave that there, but we will change that in a minute. Now I just uh, pressed add widget in the top middle, and that's going to create me a, a new small widget. Uh, and we're just going to choose bar graph for this one. Okay, then I'm going to change the property. So this is the binding or the value within the form um, that, that's, that's driving this. Okay, so we could pick any value. Uh, we're looking at issues, so any value in any of the forms inside that issues property group will be in this list. So I'm just going to scroll down the list and go to state, and straight away it shows us what that chart is going to look like. And then we want to edit the columns, and again this saves in the dashboard and is available to everyone. So there's a lot of information by default, there's, you know, what is there, 10 different columns there. So we're going to simplify that, we're going to remove all of the stuff that we don't need uh, and just keep the important information. Again, these are all the properties or bindings that exist within all the forms inside my issues property group. Okay, so we've saved that. It's now a much more simplified, easy to read list of forms. So lastly, just saving the dashboard and changing the filter to, to all forms, so it's showing me everything. Uh, in the project and that's all we need to do. Okay so we created our design review issues dashboard it's up in the top in the blue bar and that is available to anyone with view permissions on the project uh, and just to show you if I log in with a different user so this is Sean he's part of a different organization but I've invited him into the project and if he goes and has a look at the issue resolution service straight away he sees his own personal dashboard and he sees the design review issues dashboard that we just created okay that's all for today thanks for watching